my prayers, my family's prayers go out to Ukraine. We're on the brink of a serious engagement. It looks like war, a hot war, the one that I would never want to see happen. The war campaign is here for a spiritual war, a great awakening in opposition to the Great Reset. Hold it! You took it? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to do with the cash. Quarter place, I think I'm gonna be buying gold. I think I'm gonna buy gold. That's what I'm thinking. You took it? Warm day, at least. Objet. Hold it. You took it. What do you think we should do with the money, huh? Baby, what do you want to do? You trust the banks? Oh, huh, baby? Doesn't look it. Doesn't look it. So much to analyze, so much to go through, but it's necessary to do it. Figure out what to do next, where to put the money, how, why, when, timing. So I just don't trust the banks anymore. I don't trust the Canadian government anymore. WCFreedom.com, that's the newsletter for the war campaign. Subscribe, we're gonna be pushing out content. Part of what's happening is that people don't have the information we're being lulled to sleep all the time, distracted as well, our attention diverted. Of course, there's very real things happening in the world, but there's very real things happening here too that we need to pay attention to. Of course, EI right now in Canada is limited. If you don't take uh, medical procedures that the government deems necessary, you don't get EI. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. We're looking at basic income right now being instituted as well. So that's Bill C-223, if I'm correct on that one. And we'll be looking at that as well to see what that entails. And of course, that's most likely going to be limited as well by what the government wants you to do. And I'd love to hear what you're doing to safeguard your own money as well so that we can all retain whatever finances and cash that we've just taken a lot of time to, to save that money together. Hail, brother. Thank you. I definitely know that I got to safeguard my cash. I think we've been, it's been proven now that... Uh, Anything can be done to you with uh, an emergency act. And there's also been changes, of course, to FinTrack, and I'm gonna be researching that. And I wanna know exactly what's happening uh, so that I can safeguard the future of myself, my children, my mother standing here with me. What do you think, mom? What, do you, what should I be doing uh, with the cash that's been, it's taken a while to save? I think probably the best thing is either buy gold, because we come from a background ethnic where gold has always been our full back and it has always saved us. My father's family had to flee what was in Pakistan now but was India and my grandmother with her four daughters and two sons only survived the journey from the deep mountains of Pakistan all the way to Delhi, India because she had all this gold and she actually made pockets and sewed it into her brazier and the bottom hem of her petticoat and paper money banks uh, in the end they will become useless because you never know what you might have to do in life where you might have to flee what might the government might uh, decide to do and before you know it everything you think you own however rich you are cannot be taken with you except that kind of thing gold can probably save you and make you survive well there you have it there you have it perspective my mother and i'm going to go back make some coffee and then go back to my mother's basement thank you so much see you soon <laughs> bye bye <laughs>